Hello, hello, beautiful people. This is Loreline. Welcome back to another tutorial. Today, I will show you how to craft and use a bow in SCAM. And I will show you also the different bows you can find. This is a tutorial mostly for beginners and new players who wish to get the ropes when they start the game. The bow is, without any doubt, the most effective weapon of the game. Yes, it is. It's a ranged weapon, which means it's safer when you have to deal with puppets. It's silent. It won't aggro the puppets around and will not anyone know from where you were shooting. It's fast if you have a high level in uh, archery skill. And most of all, it doesn't jam on you ever <laughs> you know when a lot of guns do it doesn't happen with a bow and you need nothing but a stone knife and some bushes in the wild to craft a bow and arrows and most of all oh my god it's so freaking classy all right so when you first land on the scum island it will just take you a few minutes to craft a stone knife cut down some bushes to make small ticks craft rope and then that's it you can craft a bow and arrows see there i'm not going to do it obviously but i'm just showing you cut and then you are all set you can have your bow you can have your arrows and that's all you need all right let me show you so now we have a lot of different bows in scum the very first one is the bow 20 pounds it's the first one that you can craft yourself in the wild. Then you can craft the 25, the 30, and the 35. Okay. Depending on your strength, of course, which is something that you decide when you um, create your character under the archery skill. The higher, the stronger obviously all right then we have a set of um, long bows wooden long bows and uh, they have a uh, different uh, strength also and different names the first one is the cobra 50 pounds the second one is the kodiak 60 pounds then you have the oh sorry not this one then you have um what is it here the predator 70 pounds then you have the mohawk 80 pounds the black hawk 90 pounds and the highest one the ballista 100 pounds all right those uh, six bows you cannot craft them you can only load them or buy them at the traders all right and then here comes ta -da, the compound bow which is my favorite of course but i do like the ordinary ones as well because trust me uh, when you don't have any weapon and uh, you have only a bow you can and you are very um, careful you can go almost anywhere all right so the compound now the usually the first one you find in the game is this one the black and red one then you can always be lucky and have more like all those beautiful compounds here so we have the snow one this color white and gray then you have the desert which is beige, beige and brown then you have uh, um, this one it's uh, the the digital cream and light uh, gray then comes the woodland 
which is kind of camo, khaki, and yellow. And the last one is the US Scorpion, which is light beige and green. All right. So obviously you can load them and uh, you can buy them at the traders as well. All right. Um, then come the arrows. So obviously you have a lot of different uh, wooden arrows that you can craft. And uh, the good thing is that you don't need nothing more than a few sti small sticks. And then you can add some things such as um, uh, stone tips or metal tips or feathers to make them a little bit stronger. But even if you have just ordinary wooden arrows, it works perfectly fine. You can kill um, puppets as well. You can kill other animals and so on. Then you have um, more elaborate arrows, obviously. Uh, you have the metal arrows, this one, and uh, let me look and get it. The, this one too. So this is just uh, the, the ordinary metal, metal arrow. Then you have the broadhead metal arrow, and you have the same things for the carbon arrows. Ordinary carbon arrows, but they are strong and the broadhead carbon ones. And these are the broken arrows that you can find occasionally. All right. Obviously, for all of these, we have then some accessories. Here they are. Um, we have a uh, bow silencer. So these bow silencers here, you can craft them. These you cannot. Then you have the bow stabilizer, the one that you cannot craft, and the white one that you can craft. Um, the bow silencers and the um, slip-on bows, you can put them either on the wooden bows or the compound bows. Then you have uh, the compound bow sight, which obviously works only for the compound with the three pins and there is another one with five pins. Um, it's, usually, it's meant to help you to target better the, your prey. Uh, personally, I prefer the three pins one. This one is a bit too, too large for me. Anyway, those accessories and the uh, stabilizers go only on the compound bows. All right. And then you have the quivers to store your arrows, but of course you can store them in any other uh, backpack you can have. But it uh, it looks uh, it looks cool, and um, it gives you more room for uh, for other things. So you have the improvised quiver and the animal screen quiver. They are the two that you can craft yourself. And then comes the military quiver. This one, you cannot craft it. You have to either loot it or buy it at the traders. And they come in a lot of different colors. Here comes the toolbox that you can use to, for two things. First thing is to repair your compound bow. And the, the second thing is that to help you um, Se uh, adjust the strength of your compound bow. Let me see. You take it in hand, like this, and uh, you you need to have a toolbox nearby. And then you right click on your compound bow, and see here it's offering you to adjust the draw weight because according to your strength, you may have a stronger bow. So. I'm going to do it, and it's going to go up usually for me. It's, I think it's around 80 or something. Oh, 90 even. See? Yeah, I'm strong. I'm a strong woman. <laughs> anyway, so this is great. Very useful. What else? Um, let me see. I think that's about it. I've covered almost uh, everything useful. Well, personally, as you can see, I like the snow campaign bow, and I go with the uh, broaded metal arrows just because they look cute they're blue and they're nice as well well 
and this is it thank you for watching i do hope it's been helping and um i'll see you soon for another tutorial enjoy your day bye bye